Yo, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you guys why I think the Glass King Lockdown with the shooting pie chart is the best build to have at the center position in any game mode in 2K. That's Pro-Am, that's Direct, that's any game mode, 3v3, 5v5, doesn't matter. I think it's the best center build to have. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys gameplay in Direct. Now, this gameplay is kinda old. It was back around Christmas time. I was intending to get you guys a Pro-Am video out then, but I wasn't able to, I was, you know, focusing up more on 60 overall grind stuff, which I am trying to do now, but you know, ever since my players were deleted, all the, you know, experimental players and all the, the new stuff I was getting for 60 overall grind videos got deleted. Luckily I got my main player back so I could at least play the game, but I've been trying to, you know, rebuild all of my old 60 overall players that I was grinding with, you know, and find little new tweaks and stuff and little tips to bring you guys more 60 overall grind videos. So those videos are coming, so be patient. They are coming, bro. I'm still going to be releasing the Highlight Hub Raw videos every now and then, whenever you guys want to see some. But right now we're talking about the wreck, and I'm about to be going into the wreck. So all that, what I was saying was this gameplay is a little bit old. It was around about Christmas time, and it's not outdated as like the game doesn't play the same as it used to back then. Pretty much the same game, with even with all the, the few patches that's been since this, uh, this gameplay was, was recorded. So let's get into it, man. All right, so first game up, I'm going against the 611 Pain Beast. I don't have all of the intros to these games. This is pretty much just clips after clips after clips, just showing you guys what happens when you're playing with a center that can shoot, defend, and I made myself small enough to where I can handle the ball and drive and maneuver around in the paint and pretty much do whatever, bro. So in these clips, what I was doing, what I was intending to do in these games I was playing, because I rarely play the wreck, I always get like close to team takeover like in the first quarter so the title of this video is gonna be like team takeover in every single game i play in direct so i played like a total of five games and i think i got team takeover like twice but i kept forgetting that i was going for team takeover so as soon as i would get like my f first takeover bar i would activate it and i was like dang i forgot i'm trying to go for team takeover but looking back at these old clips bro it's showing me why i made this build and it's very satisfying to see like before the game even comes out, bro, it's super, super satisfying to see your player play exactly like you envision him to play. I don't see a single flaw in this player because obviously every player you make, even the demigod builds you see on YouTube, even the, you know, the guys that are very good that make their player look like it's just completely flawless. There are shortcomings with every build. There are, you know, detriments with every single, like it's, nothing's out there is perfect on 2K, bro. But the consistency I've been getting from this build ever since I made it is just second to none, bro. Can space the floor, which is the most important thing when you have 10 people on the court, bro. If you cannot space the floor, it's going to be tough, bro. You got to have some type of crazy, can score at will inside build in order to, you know, neutralize that. And even when I have it, I'm going against a build that can kind of neutralize, you know, and score on me a little bit. Because nobody, my dude's 6'10". Got Hall of Fame defensive back. Only got 20, but it's not that, you know, that's not that, that many compared to some of the, you know, the all red pie charts and stuff, but it's a lot. And I don't really get scored on that much, even when I'm going against like 99 overall paint beats and 99 overall interior forces and stuff. So, man, I didn't see a point of making an all red build because if I go up against an all red glass can lock down, 99 just like me, I'm going to have that ability to space the floor that he doesn't have. And like I said, I made my dude so small to where I could drive and I can drive and kick, drive and shoot, drive and dunk. I can shoot pull-ups. I can do it all, bro. And they can't do any of that. And I can defend and rebound on par with them. You don't need a crazy rebound stat to be able to rebound. And being short, my vertical is high, which I've mentioned a thousand times, makes up for the uh, lower rebounding. Having 99 rebounders is just like so overkill, plus like all those uh, rebounding badges in the game. Super overkill, bro. I only have bronze rebound chasing, and I'm always getting rebounds. I don't really show rebounds in these clips because I never really see, like I said in my old like highlight videos, I don't really see rebounds as like a highlight play, so I don't record many or I don't like include them in the clips. But if you want to see the rebound totals or stuff like that, I'm going to be pressing the pause button like periodically and you can look at the top right of the screen and see like the rebound count now some games i don't have that many rebounds because i'm a perimeter player so when a shot goes up nine times out of, out of ten i'm on the three-point line i'm nowhere near the rebound so 
I'm not going to have that many. But when it's a guy who just sit in the paint or we're playing good D and, you know, that the other team gets a lot of shots up. Because sometimes we get a bunch of steals and teams don't even get shots up. But when other teams get a lot of shots up, you're going to see me with a bunch of rebounds, bro. And I'm never really getting out-rebounded. If I get out-rebounded, I promise you I have 50 points and they have, like, two. So, it's always – I always got the upper hand, bro, with this build. If I'm not scoring, I'm defending. If I'm not defending very well, I'm scoring. And when I'm doing all of it at the same time, it's crazy because, like, the passing element with him being able to maneuver, that's another thing, bro. Sometimes I get, like, like a lot of turnover because I'm a very, like, fearless passer. You have to be a fearless passer with the ball. But my assist, like, the assist turn turnover ratio is, is crazy. I have a bunch of assists. If I go check my, uh, or whatchamacallit, the, uh, the stats, I have a bunch of assists. I wasn't pleased with what I was checking my turnovers and stuff because I do – Turn the ball over quite a bit, but it's off of the you know the rebounds. And you try to throw it full court, it goes out of bounds because like the passing accuracy on this guy is like forty. So it happens. It happens every so often. It doesn't happen that much now, but it did used to happen a lot. And like I said, I'm a fearless passer. I love to pass. So sometimes I would turn the ball over, bro. But to get back to like you know just breaking down this gameplay as I'm watching, I'm looking at it and I'm just seeing like how I'm defending. I'm I'm bringing the ball up. And you know, picking the right guy to pass it to. Just look at the, like the, the floor of space because I'm not in there in the paint, so they're just confused. And I just hit him, hit uh, I think it was uh, one. I just hit one wide open in the corner for the uh, for the green. It is so perfect playing like that because when you have a guy like the guy I'm going up against, he's just down there. The point guard can't drive, and if the point guard drives, he's he's running right into me, bro. So that's where you're gonna see a lot of my block. You're gonna just see guys running right into me. I have five blocks in this game, and. I think I'm in this game with like eight blocks or so. So you can obviously you can see he's that still down there getting blocked. And whenever the uh, the guards try to drive, I'm there, bro. So having that sh the, the 2K really messed up, bro. When they put the shooting power chart with the, with the defense, where you're not just getting baby and you can shoot the cover off the ball, like this dude can shoot. Like I know y'all been seeing the clips. Like I'm not just commentating directly over what's happening, but I know you guys are seeing it. This man can shoot, bro. He can shoot the ball. Even when he's shooting whites, they're going in because I rarely white. When I when I shoot a white, I promise you I release that, that bitch like a green. So that's why it's going in, man. Look at that. Blocks, blocks. And he can defend the paint just like anyone else. That's what's so crazy about the shooting glass clean lockdown build. And if you're scared of like that being small, you can still make them big, bro. Like you don't have to be able to, you know, maneuver around with the ball and stuff like I, I can. But you probably a better rebounder or a better defensive defensive player. So it all evens out, bro. You never really make a mistake when making your bills because whatever you missed out on, you gain something else, bro. Because I was always saying, like, man, I kind of screwed up when I didn't max my block out, which I wasn't. Tr I tried to max it out, but I didn't realize because it was the build that I brought from the demo, the exact build I brought it into the uh, 2K20 when 2K20 first came out, and I forgot to adjust that. But that those uh points that I left off block went towards my ball handling, so and that makes a big difference, especially when I'm in a part with where there's a lot more space. I'm blowing past guys like guards, so wherever you messed up at, bruh. Don't don't pay too much attention to it and don't worry about it because you had to put that skill that skill attributes they went somewhere else, bro. And wherever else it went helped you out, man. Because I was so pleased to see that I had a high steal for uh for a big man because not not many big men this year get you know steals that high like the steal being like the low 60s and low 50s and stuff like that. I have a 70 steal, bro, and that's that's very very good for my build and very good for my position. So wherever I missed out on. I promise you, I gained in somewhere else, man. And it's crazy. Crazy just being able to play so consistent and play so, play pretty much any, play against anybody, bro. Because one thing I liked about my athletic finisher last year, I didn't struggle against certain builds. And I wanted to replicate that here, but I wanted to be able to shoot the ball and space the floor out. Because sometimes playing last year with my athletic, I would be sitting in the paint because I can't shoot because I got a pure finishing build. I can score at will, which is the, you know, which is contrasting to what these players can't do on this game. The reason why it's not very good to make us just completely inside build. But last year I could score it. It was blow buys in there. It was all types of, you know, the badges didn't cancel each other out kind of like this year does. Like if I have like 
Well, they had defensive, you know, what's that badge was called last year? Uh, def- yeah, defensive stop. It actually did cancel out certain badges and stuff. And this year it doesn't. But it's so many badges this year that, you know, it kind of nullifies each other sometimes. So if I have, like, Hall of Fame, Rim, Protect- Rim Protector, Hall of Fame, Intimidator, and all that, that kind of nullifies some of the other guys, like Hall of Fame, Relentless Finisher, or whatever the, the other finishing badges is. So, yeah, man. And last year I had, uh, like, Hall of Fame Posterizer, Hall of Fame Relentless Finisher, Hall of Fame all the finishing stuff and i'm going against like rim protectors and stuff who were too slow or rim protectors and the glass in that could get blew by and i was dunking on them at will so whenever i was clogging the paint for my guard all my guard had to do was just pass me the ball and i'll just get a contact dunk but this year if i'm like say for instance i'm the defender down there in the paint bro and a guard is driving to the hole and my matchup is sitting in the paint with me so as the guard is driving there, he's going to see his big man is just in the way. So he's going to pass to the big man. The big man cannot just throw the ball up on me or score on me like I could last year. So that's why it's kind of tough playing with those inside bills. And that's why it's best to uh, play with a center that can space the floor. Like, and if, even if you don't want to be like, now, I can't just say I have the best finish in the world. Like, I can drive the ball because I've mentioned it like 10 times that I'm pretty fast for my build. I can drive. But I can't really do much when I'm standing uh, like po- in the post, so that can be a little bit of a of a headache sometimes. If you're a guy who used to being being able to go up over guys down there in the paint, so I'm not. I'm gonna say that I'm not that great at finishing in the post. But compared to not being able to shoot the ball, that is not that big of a detriment, man. I, I can just step back a little bit and be in the mid range, and my guard can kick it to me there, and I can I can shoot the, the mid range. It's so many other options, bro. And like I said, I can I can drive for the eleventh time. This time I can drive the ball. It's just so I don't I don't see where you can go wrong with it, bro. And if you don't if you want to be able to score on the inside, I'm gonna bring my interior force build in a in a build video. That's a very good shooting build too. It doesn't have the defense that the Glasgow Lockdown uh, has, but it has that inside presence that you might miss out on from this build. So I'm gonna be dropping a build video very soon to the interior force very good build but i've been playing with it uh, for a while that's one of the few builds that that didn't get deleted when i uh uh when my players got deleted so i was able to continue grinding on that so i'm gonna be showing you guys my interior force build i have a lot of fun playing with them in my career i never have fun playing my career but i have fun playing with the interior force and they can shoot i think it gets like a 72 or 73 three ball it has like 89 post moves. It has like 90 uh, standing dunk. Now the defense and rebound isn't that great. It's like 78 defensive rebound and 70 something uh, offensive rebound. The block goes to like I think a 80 or something or something like that. And I think I put his wingspan up a little high, so he has pretty good. De- he has decent uh uh defensive attributes, and he's kind of tall. He's, he's a lot taller than this guy. I think I left him at seven foot, so he's not a small player. And that'll be a good alternative to the guys who don't want to play with a guy who can't really score around the basket that well because he gets more finishing badges. Still gets a bunch of shooting badges. I think he gets like uh, 14 shooting badges, if I'm not mistaken. But he just gets a, a couple more finishing badges. And you can, but still though, you can make that adjustment that I messed up on with my badges. I didn't put nothing on post hook on my glass can lockdown, so he only got four finishing badges. So that's probably the reason why I don't really just score around the basket like standing up in the paint that much because I don't have that many finishing badges. But you can get up to 10 finishing badges on the glass can lockdown. So you guys can probably just do that if you don't want to make the interior force build with the less defense. So that's why I say, man, I don't know where you can go wrong with the shooting glass can lockdown. I just don't. I don't see it. It's nowhere you can go wrong with it, bro. Like, I haven't ran into that. I play... I play comp players. I play all the type of players y'all be talking about uh, that are, you know, pulverize me down there, whatever. I play those players, but if you want to see the gameplay, I'll drop the videos. But every time I drop videos where I'm playing like quote unquote comp or playing elites and stuff, nobody watches them. So of course I'm gonna still get the same questions like, do you do that against that person? Do you do that against this person? Well, I'm trying to show you, and you're not watching, so. I, I haven't I just got to keep telling you bro until you pay attention to it so uh, but I mean you guys want to watch what you want to watch and I'm gonna give you what you want to watch I ain't if you don't want to watch a certain type of video I'm not gonna force you to watch that type of video I want to bring what you guys want to see and those are the 60 overall grind videos it's just kind of tough dropping those all the time because that's not what I centered my channel around initially when I created my channel I created my channel to you know to show highlights and stuff I didn't even never intended to commentate over my video I never even intended to show my face on my channel so 
it's a big adjustment to me. And plus, 60 overall grind videos are kind of boring to make because it's playing my career. Nobody wants to sit up and play my career all day, but I will do it for you guys because I, I love my subs and I appreciate you guys showing all the support you've been showing for the past, you know, year or so on this channel. So I definitely will continue to make them for you all, for you all. But I've made like the same like video, like the same concept in like three videos now, like three straight videos. Now I do have some new information with, you know, the VC contracts, which I've been doing for like the past few days, but it's kind of hard doing it because I'm, I got it. Like I said, I play a bunch of my career to do it, but I've been playing my career, getting those and uh, getting that infra information for the uh, VC contract video. So that's like some new information, but I've been doing the same thing in like the past three before I'm going to drop this VC contract video for the micro vids, bro. I've been showing you guys how to do the little, uh, three pointer glitch with the uh, screen and stuff, which I think they passed out when I'm going to explain it in my next 60 overall grind video. So I'm going to explain that and I'm going to be dropping a video on how to maintain and get the 99.9 .9 overall. So I'll be looking out for that too. But back to what I was saying about, you know, the grind video, I've been doing the same thing. I've been showing you guys how to get a jump shot creator. I still get asked questions about that on how to get the jump shot creator. So I'm going to just make an all in one video, which I try to do with that one where I have the thumbnail where I'm like just standing in the uh, my career screen. I don't know exactly what I, I titled it, but I just put a whole bunch of stuff in the title. So I'm going to try to make a video similar to that, but it's going to be on everything, bro. It's going to be on pick and roll, pick and fade, screen and roll, uh, VC contracts, jump shot creator, pra team practice, any tips I can possibly bring you, I'm going to bring in that video. So be on the lookout for that. I'm, I'm constantly working on new videos. My problem is I work on too many at a time. So I get log jammed on. I get all these like three fourths complete videos. I, they'll be like halfway done. And I have like six halfway done videos. And I never know which one to finish first. Cause I'll drop a certain type of video. Like in between that I'll rush a video out. It doesn't get the reception I wanted to get. Then I get discouraged. I stop editing. I stop going into share fact. I stop going to my laptop. I stop going every, I stop, you know, recording audio. And I get I get tied up and I then it'll be like four days since I uploaded. So I don't want my channel to be like that. I want, I want to be consistent. Man. I want to be as consistent, consistent as I can possibly be and bring you guys the best content available on YouTube when it comes to grinding or whatever, bro. So please, please, please be patient with me. I'm trying. I'm trying my best, man. I really am. And I've been, you know, with all this quarantine stuff going on, I have been in the house so long. I started getting back out of the house. I've been I've been isolating myself from everybody way before this quarantine stuff started, but I've been getting out of the house. I've been, you know, rekindling old relationships and stuff. And I've been doing a lot of stuff in my personal life that, that I've been out of the house, bro. So I haven't even been around my video game that much. I haven't been able to record stuff because I've been trying to get out and be more social. So please just, just bear with me, bro. But I do have more videos coming. This is getting close to the end of this video. So I appreciate you guys for watching. I hope I didn't stray too much away from the topic of the video. But like I said, appreciate you guys. I love you. Tune in to my next video coming soon. Peace. Mm -hmm.